I'm Yoaworks and in this video, I'll be making one of the most requested crafts in this channel and share to you guys how to make it using the free template I made. So prepare your tools from Azimuth and let's make an Omnitrix. First, I went to my computer to edit the template. Now that that's done, let's go make an Omnitrix. The first thing I did was cutting the pieces in the template. They don't have to be precisely cut because we will still glue them onto cardboard. Take note that there will be some changes in the template which I'll share with you later. So better stick around so you won't get confused when I present the new layout. Okay, since I'm done cutting out all the pieces, it's no time to glue them onto a piece of cardboard. For this, I used the cardboard leftover from the DIY Accelerate helmet I made. If you haven't seen that video yet, then you should go check that out right after we make this Omnitrix. For the alien interface, I want them to be looking shiny, so I printed these pieces on a glossy photo paper. As you can see, I'll be gluing only a few pieces onto this cardboard because the rest of the pieces will be glued onto a thinner piece of cardboard. Once they're all in place, it's no time to stick these pieces onto the cardboard. In this step, I recommend you guys use a glue stick as it gives a cleaner output than rubbing wet and sticky glue with your fingers. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, now is the perfect time to click the subscribe button. I have more bent and crafts and other DIY tutorials that you might be interested in so don't forget to visit my channel after you watch my video. Alright, the glue is dried so now let's cut out all the pieces. It's very important that you wait for the glue to dry before cutting, otherwise you might experience something like this. Also, it's better to use a sharper cutting knife because a dull one might also ruin your pieces. If you don't know how to use a cutting knife, please don't hesitate to ask someone else to help you out for safety, okay? Okay, now I've finished cutting out all the pieces, except for this one. I'm not going to use this piece anymore and there'll be another piece I'll throw away later but you'll know why in a few minutes. For this craft, I'll be duplicating some of the pieces, like this one. I made another copy of it with its center cut out. For the B piece, I made 5 more of it. For the A piece, for this one, I made two more. For the alien interface, I made two more pieces. Okay, let's continue with our work. These pieces will be placed on the corners of the Omnitrix. To fold them, gently trace the lines with cutter to make a crease. Be sure you don't put too much force on the cutting knife so you won't accidentally cut all the way to the back of the piece. If you do it correctly, you'll be able to fold the piece like this. After that, simply glue the pieces together like so. Then, I took these pieces and stick them together with glue. This time, I didn't use the glue stick because we need the pieces to firmly stick together. Next, I glued the B pieces in pairs. Lastly, I glued the alien interface with its pair. Although you can see here that I used all three pieces for the alien interface, I actually just removed the other layer off cam to fit it in the Omnitrix. I'll explain further in a few minutes. For this cardboard strip, I simply rolled it and glued the ends to make a ring. I then glued the ring onto this cardboard piece. After gluing the pieces with their pairs, it's now time to assemble the pieces together. But first, I stacked all the pieces to see how chunky my Omnitrix will look. 
Since it looked too thick, I simply removed one pair of B pieces. After that, I then glued the pieces accordingly. Take note on the order of stacking these pieces. For the alien interface of this Omnitrix to pop out, the screen first slips to the side. I won't be able to put in the same mechanism on the very limited space I have, so I figured out this design which is not complicated but will still give me the sliding screen effect. If you're having trouble putting this piece inside the Omnitrix, simply trim off its sides. Also, I only use two layers of cardboard, as mentioned earlier, for this sliding piece so that it can easily slip in and out the Omnitrix. Next, I then cut out some cardboard strips to stick on the base piece. Finally, I assembled these two together like so and strengthened them more with super glue. Since there are parts of the piece that are sticking out which makes the surface uneven, I trim them off with cutting knife. Doing this might be risky to some of you, so if you're not used to sharp tools, please, again, don't hesitate to call someone else for help. With that done, we're now halfway there to finishing this Omnitrix. To smoothen out the surface, I used 400 grit sandpaper. Since the two corner pieces hinder the sliding screen, I cut out these certain areas of the corner pieces. I also cut out this part of the sliding screen. Later on, I glue a button with this piece. I then proceeded to spray painting it. Remembering all the things I learned in spray painting my Accelerate helmet, everything went just smooth. While I wait for the paint to dry, I covered the seams of the corner pieces with wood filler. When the paint dried, I took out this piece and noticed that there were still uneven areas, so I applied wood filler onto those parts as well. I then smoothened out the pieces with sandpaper. Lesson learned here, I should have applied wood filler on the Omnitrix first before spray painting it, but everything still turned out great, so it's fine. Here's the before and after sanding the corner pieces. Smooth, right? After sanding, I then spray painted the pieces. While waiting for the paint to dry, I worked on the watch trap using a 5mm thick EVA foam. For this watch, I won't be applying any velcro. Instead, I'll simply glue the ends of the strap permanently since I can simply slip my hand into the watch. To make it easier for me to form the shape of the watch trap, I used heat gun. I then took these pieces and bent them like so. Doing this will make it easier for me to stack these pieces onto one another and glue them onto the watch trap. As you can see, the Omnitrix is already coming together. But before we proceed, I need to remove the black markers and cover up the wrinkles. To do that, I spray painted this area of the strap. As I waited for the paint on the strap to dry, I took the watch and the corner pieces I painted earlier.
Before gluing the corner on the watch, I first scratched the surface for the glue to have something to grip on. For the alien interface, take this piece and glue its ends like so. Make sure that it isn't tight when putting it in the center of the watch. To make the alien interface pop, I used this spongy material. I then glued this sponge into the alien interface and stick it into the center of the watch. With that, we can simply slide in the screen and when it's pulled out, the alien interface springs back because of the sponge. Simple mechanism but it looks pretty cool. After that, I then stick this button piece to the sliding screen. When the paint on the watch strap finally dried, I then cut out this area. This was done so that the strap will have a greater grip on the watch. After that, I then cut out this strip of EVA foam and place it on the sides of the watch strap. Finally, I added these minor details to complete the look of my Benton 5 years later Omnitrix. Now before I reveal to you the finished look of my DIY Omnitrix, let's first take a look at these amazing creations that you guys sent me. Well done everyone and I hope to see more crafts from you in the future. If you want your crafts to be featured in my next uploads, don't hesitate to send me a photo of your craft on my Instagram account at imuawards. Thank you so much you guys for watching and without any further ado, here's the Ben 10 5 years later Omnitrix.